Quick update for you all on the Zessa situation. We had a power cut on Sunday evening and some enterprising individuals took that opportunity to steal a load of cables from our area, which means we've been off since then. So this morning, Carrie and I have come round to the Zessa office here in downtown Bulawayo. Uh, we are looking for a form that we can fill in. We then are going to go around all the houses in our local area and basically say to people, look, we need donations towards buying this cable. We can then bring that money to Zessa, procure the cables, and then they come and install us and hopefully we'll get some power back. Yeah, it's a bit of a fun situation for us out here, but this is how it works right now. Cable theft is an absolutely massive thing for us. Um, all over Zimbabwe, not just Bulawayo in Harare, I imagine even in Vic Falls, although I've not really seen many stories there. Cables are just being stolen left, right, and center. I get it. I get it. Copper is worth an awful lot of money, and if you're sitting in a situation where you don't have any other form of income in a time when the prices are rising all over the place, I get why people do it. I absolutely condemn anyone who does do it because it just plummets everyone else around them into abject misery. But here we are. Now, Pindula and several other news sources in Zimbabwe have reported that when residents have had cables stolen, ZETDC have basically said to them, you need to buy new cables from a company called Kafka. Now, ZETDC categorically deny this, but we've literally just gone down to Zessa now. They've given us a piece of paper saying, you need to go and buy the cables from a company called Kafka. Now, admittedly, they have also given us two others, so we're going to go and have a look at those first. But looking a little bit deeper into this showcases that what ZETDC TDC is saying is that they have purchased aluminium cables ahead of time from Kafka and they're trying to replace the copper with aluminium but they've got this whole stock in uh, in place with Kafka so that when cables are stolen they can just replace them but if you're not willing to wait which by the way is literally an 8 to 12 week wait then you need to go to Kafka in order to buy the cables which does seem a little bit conspicuous for want of a better word does this even stop anything not really. The aluminium cables are being stolen as well. And it begs the question, what are people doing about this? A lot of the areas in Bulawayo are basically hiring their own private vigilante guards to patrol at night to try and prevent this from happening. And like we found this morning, we've got a lot of people complaining that, oh, our Zessa is still off. What is Zessa doing? What is Zessa doing? But it's basically left to Carrie and I to actually go around, find out what we can do and get this all sorted.